So one of the big things that um, surprised me about college was the fact that there are a lot of half-truths out there about the spiritual life at college. Um, the, the main thing I heard about college is that the big temptation is to drug, sex, and alcohol. And, I mean, I agree. Those are very big, very big things here at college. Um, but on some level, I have to disagree and call it a half-truth. Because there is another temptation that underlies that. And this is like, this is a underground, it's like creeping temptation to laziness. And um, to what the spiritual fathers of the olden days would refer to as acedia, or the noonday devil. Um, which is essentially this temptation to just give nothing of yourself throughout the day. Um, I mean, of course, this is very harmful because you're not praying, you're not doing anything productive, and you're not advancing in your spiritual life in any way. In, in a sense, you're kind of ghosting God in, in modern Gen Z terms. Um, so yeah, you, you just there's this temptation to ghost God because all of a sudden you have no more pressure on you to, to continue praying, to go receive the sacraments, go to adoration, do all that. But, um, yeah, it's just, it's just a big thing that people miss. And they don't expect it to hit them. They're, they're preparing for all the drugs, sex, and alcohol. And they're like, hey, we're going to fight this off. But they completely miss the temptation to laziness. And they end up, they stop praying, and their defenses, they get weak, and their spirit gets weak. And honestly, yeah, there's a car going by. Um... They, they get weak and all of a sudden they're not prepared to fight off the drug, sex, and alcohol. And they find, people find themselves just like lost in this college whirlwind essentially of, of what is just, of like, of the common, the common alley. Everyone, they say everyone's doing it. And so they get trapped in this cycle of laziness, sin, laziness, sin, and they can't get out of it. So I think, if you were to ask me which temptation is worse, to drug, sex, alcohol, all the big pleasures of college or this temptation to laziness I kind of have to say the temptation to laziness because praying consistently praying without ceasing every day is that foundation that gives you the strength to fight off the drugs the sex and alcohol and of course I'm, I'm, I'm I keep braiding on these top three things um, that's because they're the most common things. Of course, like in the Catholic perspective, sex is a good thing, but the, the way it's used at college is is less. It's it's partaking. Um, there's a bug on my screen. Pardon me. Um, okay, it's gone. Um, yeah. So I think, honestly, if you're at college right now, hey, you got, you've got to find your community, man. I didn't really understand how important it was to be in part of a Catholic community until I went to youth group my senior, I started going to youth group my senior year of high school. I didn't understand how important it was to have that support system of, of being like Catholic in community until then. You cannot be a lone Catholic in college, I'm sorry. Um, so go find your community, keep praying every day, ask for grace, and if you fall to one of those big three things, or even get lazy, go to confession and talk about it with the priest. Do your penance and move on. And if you keep doing this, and you keep that contrition in your heart, and that desire for the glory of God, then you'll see progress. And you'll become more virtuous, you'll become kinder, you'll become more wise, you'll become more pure, you'll become a person you really, really want to be. You just may not know that you want to be that person. yet. So, go get him at college. I'm holding out here too. I'll be praying for you. Pray for me. Peace. Guys, I went through a walk around campus today and uh, found this nice wooded area kind of behind me. And uh, this, uh, woo, this random skateboard just right there. So prayers for whoever thought it was a good idea to ride a skateboard down here. Cause that's just wacky, bro.